What's up, everybody? It's the Rogue in Disguise, North American community contributor for World of Warships, please. And we're going to be talking about the Imperial Japanese light cruiser. So make sure you smash that like button, you hit the subscribe, and you turn that bell to all to catch all that we do for World of Warships, please. Oh, but yes. And guys, let's really dive into this. So we know that the tier 10 yodo is what we're going to be looking at today we're going to be looking at the other ships but the main end goal is probably to get the tier 10 one because the other ships i find they're progressive ships they have their merits and everything like that but when we get down to the final tier 10 ship it, it shows everything that is capable and i really like it for a couple of factoids and i'll dive into that in just a moment we know we got 43,076 hit points. It's pretty comparable to other vessels in this tier. Um, a little lower, but they are light cruisers. And they're still quite fun. And the max speed I found a little lacking here and there, but I really built up for something else. Um, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. But the maneuverability without any type of modifications is kind of sluggish on the turns. It takes... A moment to get up to full speed to 33.07 knots for a light cruiser i thought it would be a little faster than that but it, it turned out okay 10 seconds to make a turn is quite a long time um especially for a light cruiser um at the tier 10 bracket i think it took a little longer but then again most of the other times that i play tier 10 cruisers it's i've got it modified to make those maneuvers quicker by adding on the appropriate equipment um, the main guns, though, I do find enjoyable because they do set a lot of fires, even though the chance of setting a fire is at 6%. You got 18 guns of 150 millimeter, uh, fifth year type, uh, six by three. So six turrets of three guns each of 150, and it just rains HE all over the place. If you, especially if you spec into it, it, it does a lot. Got the turret to rear speed up. A little higher with the equipment but i find it a lot of fun the armor piercing does really well against uh other cruisers and destroyers not so much against battleships because they're thick armament um i did get a bunch of zeros and bounces off of battleships when i played this ship on my live stream um on thursday but it was a lot of fun torpedoes oh they're they're nice got to be a little bit close to deploy them correctly but they're a little slower than most other torpedoes but chance of setting a flood is 33 percent that's right up there with those pesky pesky <laughs> i do mean pesky eu destroyers honestly they, they oh my gosh those things are fast and they do just as much chance of setting a flood as this does but they got actual damage on them you know 5385 hit uh damage points for each torpedo that strikes it and almost a 10 kilometer range it's actually pretty damn nice it really is it i've caught plenty of floods with it playing with it and it's they're good torpedoes really they are um, the aircraft armament I found the most enjoyable, actually because of the longest ranges I've seen on small and large caliber AE damages. Um, 4.29 kilometers for the large caliber AE damage is really stupendous. 305 isn't the greatest number, but it's the range is the biggest factoid right there. And then when they get closer to the two kilometer range the secondary small caliber AA damage kicks in at 309 and it just decimates planes but that's not even the real kicker on it and i went and did an aa build on this vessel just for the simple fact that it had air defense alert three and i built up the aa on it and i hit that air defense alert three and it just mowed down planes Getting clear skies on this thing with this particular build is not going to be an issue, especially they come across this vessel. It, it will just eat planes. I, I found that part to be extremely enjoyable. Setting the constant fires was extremely enjoyable as well. And, and the sonar, <laughs> I didn't even use. And you only got one charge of it. it it's just not even really worth it, but... Overall, I think the ship was uh, amusingly fun. It did have its little 
moments where I thought I was going to struggle for a little bit, but I turned in a little bit and dodged a bunch of uh, shells, even without the maneuverability adding in and doing an AA build. I, I still found it to be a little sluggy around the turns, but backing up and swerving did help out with maneuvering and dodging. Um, rounds coming in and skinning up a lot. Uh, it, 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 honestly, I, I would just mow down ships with HE. Battleships, cruisers. I hit uh, cruisers with armor piercing or HE, depending on which type of cruiser it was. Some of the more American ones, I went with HE just to burn them down because they're easy to set fire because that's Japanese fire to American ships is just like cancer to the Marvel man. It's just how it is. <clears throat> so it, it, it's it, it's what it is on that one. I mean, it, 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 it'll do it. It's just fun. I, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just a lot of fun. So if you guys find this video enjoyable, smash that like button. Or if not, hit the down button. I get it. The thumbs down. I get it. You know, you didn't enjoy it. Okay. But if you did enjoy it, well, smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and turn that bell to all to catch all that we do for World of Warships Blitz. And we'll catch you on the next video. Oh, but yes.